And welcome back to episode 28 of Let's Play Dark Souls 3 with me, a girl named Bob, and Shin Dynasty. Whoosh! We are just breezing through this game, but I do remember now what I was going to talk about in episode 27. The thought that just farted out of my mind. Anyways, what I was going to say, because I was going through um, my inventory, and it triggered me. Tr it triggered what I was going to think about. All the triggers of how Dark Souls is notorious for having... A large just giving you everything all that you could ever want a lot of Japanese games are known for this however I was thinking about this and I was going through this and this actually really really bothered me when I was playing the the neo beta or the neo beta n i o h the samurai-esque soul game that is gonna be coming from team ninja for uh, the PlayStation and while playing that demo and I hope to Christ they get rid of this option is that they so many drops drops that even rival dark souls for in-game and a lot of them are similar like basically you get everything that you see on the screen right here like pine resins they have the equivalent of souls they have the equivalent of all that kind of stuff except unlike dark souls where they have item caps like see you have you can hold 15 out of 99 embers at any given time and you can hold up to 600 stored which means if you run out from the 99 it automatically replaces it same with uh bloodborne had the same mechanic from soft this is basically how um their item system works in neo um from team ninja they have a plethora of items however it's not the items within themselves that are limited, it's how many you can carry in your quote-unquote backpack. Which, as someone who is OCD as shit and wants to carry and pick up things, this applies to weapons and armor and all that too. And it fucking drove me crazy. Because it, it's my inventory started getting filled in the last third of the demo, and I was like losing my shit because that's when all the good stuff stops, uh, starts dropping in. It's like, holy hell, what are you doing here? And then it, it started reminding me of how Resident Evil is known for that. Resident Evil 4 is a perfect example of bullshit because you had to fit all of your components into that goddamn suitcase. I was having PTS flashbacks to Resident Evil 4's fucking suitcase while I was going through PTSD post traumatic stress disorder from Neo, all because I was looking at my inventory and it's like, Japanese games, if you're going to give Americans the options to pick everything they can off the ground, you better understand that we're going to pick everything up off of the ground because American games, um, when I grew up uh, in the 90s off of PlayStation 1 games and um, N64 for my cousins and all that, you had Mario, which was all about collecting, Sonic was all about collecting, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Gex Center the Gecko, all of them, all the platformer games from back in the day all required you to collect things and you had to collect them all. Therefore, it is definitely ingrained in me, if not the entire 90s platforming culture, to pick up everything. So Japan, stop breaking my heart by putting cap limits on the entire backpack and instead put it on each individual item. Otherwise, why are you giving us so much shit to collect? Just don't even include it in the fucking game. It doesn't make any sense. But um, yeah, so that was the thing that, that uh, I really wanted to talk about last episode. I got to talk about it now. Japan, please, you are killing Americans and we will just retaliate by killing you with fast food. That's all I'm gonna say. So let's go back to... I guess the easiest way to get there is... We're... Yeah, Deacons of the Deep. Because now we're gonna do the Covenant. And we're gonna do this sideline. And I don't know how long I'm gonna be recording this episode. This may be a short episode because I'm getting real tired. It's actually 1.30 in the p.m. And the three cups of coffee I had at like 8 in the morning is starting to wear off. And I need to render and upload this shit. I'd like to get all this done in one day. Well, a day and a half. But, um... Yeah, we are just, like, breezing through this game now. I, I, I love this game. I do. It's no Bloodborne, let me mind you. And it's not perfect. But I do love this game. Still not gonna play Dark Souls 2. <laughs> But I would love an HD or just even a re-release of um, the original Dark Souls for the PlayStation 4 because they don't allow for, um... Ow! Don't you use your fucking sweet-ass games against me, but there's no backwards compatibility for PS4. And I would love to uh, do a Let's Play series of Dark Souls 1. And if it was an HD remake, which it kind of already is an HD 
But shit, if, if fucking, um, uh, uh, Uncharted, Nathan Drake can get an HD release for the PS4, and that was all PS3 games, why can't fucking Dark Souls, or even Demon Souls, I'd love to play Demon Souls. Never got the chance for that, never got the chance for any of the PlayStation 3 exclusives. Or Generations, really. Didn't have the chance, because I didn't own the console. It's a good way of not playing the game, don't own the console. It's very effective at letting you not play the game. You wanna give me your shit? You dick. <laughs> Alright, firebomb. So now we go forth to Rosaria's Covenant. There's actually some other things around here too, but like I said in the last video, I'm going to be scrubbing these places up and down, left and right, when the time comes. We are going to do one more run through of every inch of this game to make sure that I got everything that I needed. Where is that fucking elevator? Is it out here? I think I gotta go out here. Maybe? Oh, here it is. See, I did have to go out here. It's true. Okay, that is not a pit. Good. Sometimes I hate these wooden floor elevators because you can't tell if it's a black pit of death or a safety. A safety zone. <laughs> Alright. So we gotta go where Patches was. Did I raise that back up? No. Are none of them raised? Shit, I gotta go down there and raise some shit. I gotta raise the roof. I think that fall would kill me. I was going to see if it would or would not. It probably would. I Where's the... I would have thought there'd be a lever up here. Is there... Patches, how did you lower the fucking bridge, you asshole? <laughs> he made, he made, uh, um, some packs with some very powerful people, I guess. <laughs> he was like, yo, get this, the, the, get your dynasty, and I'll make you rich. And they're like, okay, we don't understand, we're maggot monsters, but we'll comply. And he's like, yeah, Patches. And that's how it worked. That's how I think it went down. And that's how it's going to play out in my fanfiction. <laughs> okay, we can definitely survive this drop. This, yeah, see, this one's down. Tis but a flesh wound. Okay, we gotta go over here with the, the dick knight. The, the knight dick. The dicky do. The dick dick dungry do. I'm looking. Oh, he got annihilated. <laughs> he got destroyed. Alright, we gotta go to the other side. Okay. Thank you. Yes, this is where... It should be. It's not like Okay, there's that one. Also gotta kill the mimic here. Ow. That was an inconvenient truth. What the hell is over here? Did I get the item from down there? I did. Wasn't sure if I did or didn't, but it looks like I did. Also, I don't think it was a very important item. But if you would like to go into the Pit of Sadness, you can. Nothing's stopping you. Oh. Oh, shit. To lag. Here we go. Or not even to leg, to, to poppins. Take your buffs and get out of here.
Drop the fucking chest piece. Thank you. There's an item over there I'd like to pick up, and you drop nothing. You worthless, worthless, worthless donkey dick. <laughs> oh boy, souls! More souls, everybody! Alright, we now have all this done. I think we, yeah, we gotta go this way. <sighs> All right, the bridges are made. Let's get out the base hammer. One-shotting them with the Chaos Blade. And that Gusta. This is actually very helpful in New Game Plus, because it's already done. Combo Wombo Breaker. Ow. An inconvenient truth! <laughs> I'm just killing them out of spite now. They're, they, they are the enemies that I love killing the most, I'm not gonna lie. It's great. It's just so satisfying to murder these sons of bitches. These sentient beanbag scrotes. <laughs> Beautiful. Once again, another noble, noble from software tradition. <laughs> very noble indeed, let me tell you. Oh yeah, I gotta check out something else that could be very incredibly sad, because we now have Lothar Castle open, and it could be incredibly sad. Uh, reminder to future self, check out Incredible Sadness. Do it. No balls, you won't. This is too sad. There we go. Ah. Now I'm just pissed. <laughs> now, now I'm just, now I'm just mad. <laughs> where the fuck is the lever? Like I feel like I know where that lever is, because I absolutely do. But like I've hit so many other levers, it's like. Is it up here? Am I somehow blind as all fucking shit to not see a goddamn lever in front of me? It's not the one right here. I don't even know why this is a wall. Is there two levers over there? Is there a lever right here? I swear to God, if it ends up being right here, somehow, five hours from now, I figure it out. Figure out the puzzle, everybody. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be super pissed. Okay, only one level lever here. Alright, guys. Uh, pulleys and levers. Physics. Things. Things that you learn in the fourth grade. Okay. That one's up. This one is not. So it's gotta be right here somewhere for it. Yes, I did not notice it. My bad. I blame Kirk. No. Okay, this is the one I pulled like five minutes ago. So that means let's try this one over here. I'm all backwards. I don't know. Up from down with my head between my ass. No lever here. Or here. Now do you see why I'm so fucking confused? <laughs> There's gotta be another lever, like, on that other side. Hold on. 
Or maybe... Now hear me out. I have to write it up. It's possible. But I think there is two levers over here. I think there was. Now that's gonna pull that one down. We'll raise up the other one. No, we'll not. No, I'm not gonna have enough time to um, jump on it. From that other side. It's gotta be over here. This is like right here on the fucking side. I never noticed it because of the giant. I swear to god, I did not have this much trouble finding it. On my first playthrough. So I'm very confused right now. Because I could have sworn they both affected each other. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, I think I know what what to do. Hold on. No, it's not right there. I would I thought that there had been a second one right across from it, but no, there wasn't. It was a fucking lie. A dirty, dirty lie. Oh kill me now. Okay, that one controls that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am not having this. <laughs> A systems of pulleys and levers. Levers. Beaver levers. Lever, beaver. Do I have to go down here and do it? Is there one down here? Let me see if there's anything in here. Well, I know there's a, um, dog spider in there. Don't really want to risk that right now. Just want to find a fucking lever. It's not... Okay, I'm gonna fight this dog in here. El Doge. Thanks. Wow. Okay, three hits. Sure. Is there a lever in here? <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, bad dog. <laughs> bad doggy. What'd you do with Mama's lever? Where'd you put Mama's lever? Mama needs her fixings. No fucking lever. I got. I got a. Like the thing about pancakes and coffee and bacon. And, you know, breakfast potatoes is that they're delicious. But after a few hours, you're going to shit out your lung. And I'm getting to that point. We're going to have an emergency on our hands. <laughs> oh, no. Is it by the giant guards this? I don't know why we'd be out here. It's the complete opposite end. Where the fuck me lever at? Bruh. No, there is no goddamn lever out here. I've probably ran past the damn thing like 20 times and you're all yelling at me like I'm some kind of jackass. Which I am, mind you. I absolutely am. But, that's besides the point. It's not there. There's that one. It's very prominent, that lever. Why would it be down here? It wouldn't. Because that'd be fucking stupid. 
Patches, why you do this to me? Why, Patches? Why? This is just taking me right back to the... To the elevator. Or the cathedral. Now... Well, what's over here, then? Mm, lever? Or is this the, um... Is there a lever up here in that watchtower? That'd be stupid as hell. And I would have to write a very angry letter. I mean, extremely heavily worded. Oh my god. No. That's the elevator lever. Okay. Maybe you two have to come up here to go around and fall onto their thing? Maybe. Possibly. Okay. And then you can activate the lever once you are safely on the side of the cult. This is all hy hypothesis. Who the fuck's throwing molotovs at me? Stop doing that. He's a very angry, angry priest. Very angry. He needs to settle on down. Okay. Do I drop down onto the side of Ros Rosaria's Covenant? Right. Ow. Oh! Thanks! Thanks for that! <laughs> oh shit. Aw, uh, hamburgers. There. I swear to god, if I pause this to look up where a lever is, I have none of it. I'm also not embering. I refuse. I refuse to give in to the terrorist. Terrors win. Where in the shit? Oh, thanks for that. Oh, that's Smashinos! Smashinos pizza rolls! You're a dick. <laughs> I think I had 7,000 souls on me. Okay. Theater on that great short and fucking legs. You son of a bitch. Okay, let's look at this. We got this right here. I know there's a lever over there. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna solve this basic, basic puzzle for the most basic bitch of us all. <laughs> There has to be a lever nearby because Patches used it. That's the only way it makes sense. <laughs> Fucking Patches. <gasps> that one's up, but I can't get to it? Question mark? 
I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be just, I'm going to be so salty. Let me tell you about that salt level. It's gonna rise, and rise, and rise. Chicken arise. Okay, let's look at where we gotta go. If we went to the cathedral, we would fall down onto them. I think we do have to fall down from the buttress in a non-dying manner and then raise the fucking lever. Okay, I think we do have to go onto the buttress. I'm pretty sure. Unless there's sneaky. Sneaky? Sneaky? No, that's just gonna cause me to fall to my death. Alright, we gotta go back up to the buttress. It's looking like I was on the right track. I just kind of like, you know, didn't want to die. And then I died anyways and was like, eh. So let's go back. Back to black. Oh yeah, but don't, please don't put items in your game and then tell me not to pick up said items. Because you are a bad person then. <laughs> You're just terrible people. At that point in my book, is let's let's just for curiosity's sake make sure that there's no levers over here. Nothing, clean, clean as a whistle, whistlely queen, queen whistlely. Anyways, now which side takes you up there? I want to say this side. Rude. Yes. Okay. I chose correctly. Yes, right here. So we do have to go through the buttresses. So we are going to Ember. We got 16. Why not? Fuck it. It's a party, bro. Party. Time to party. Now we just gotta see which side, because I was trying to see where Rosaria's Covenant side was. Because I didn't want to just drop down, break my legs for nothing. I want to break my legs for a purpose. <laughs> they must be broken with valor and dignity, please. So much dignity. I should be one-shotting these guys. Just saying. Just saying, bruh. Because I'm one-shotting him, which is fine. He fell to his death. Okay with that. Well, he, he fell. I don't think he died, actually. There you go, buddy. Time to chill out. Okay, gotten the shit from over there. Okay, buttress. Buttress. But. Buttress. Okay, you're dead. So we're on the right path, because there's Rosarius. You know, you don't gotta be like that.
Okay. This is fun. I'd like to I'd like to say that this is very fun. This is super superb. I think you can get to there. Anyways, let's let's teleport to uh, the cleansing chapel. Cause it's easier to get that elevator then without me having to go back and forth. God damn it, Patches. You are the bane of my existence of police and lovers and hoarding things. We're gonna get this. You wait and see. We're gonna get this, son. Cause I remember I didn't do Rosaria's chambers for a long time the on my first playthrough. So I bet you I fell from the rafters. I'm just saying. Okay, we're not going to pop it until we defeat Mr. Cranky Pants. Cause he cranky. And he got them pants. I think it's this side. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Because there it is. Don't fall in the pit now. Whee! Gracias, mi amigo. Buongiorno, mi amigo. Ha 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 Mi amigo. There we go. Just in case I don't have any confidence in myself of doing anything correct. I mean, why would I? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait a second. Let me do some math. Okay, I'm doing good. I needed to figure out when my uh, next candy time was going to be. That backstab of Reno's, though. It looked like he was very shocked. <laughs> to have gotten such a... Vicious prostate exam from nowhere. Okay. Is there... Yes, there is a closer buttress. Okay, good. Just making sure. You know, again. Why do you even have that? Great. It would have been great. I mean, the best. I don't even care about the souls. I just want to get over there. Because <laughs> let me tell you, Lothric Castle, you're going to get all the souls you need from there. You're just going to. But this guy's a dingle dangle. And you can't. I'm glad I did not pop an ember, too. <laughs> Very glad at that. Super duper glad at knowing I have no confidence in myself. <gasps> okay. I probably should hit these guys with the the great uh, the dragon slayer bows, maybe, possibly. Also, I have hit the spell. It doesn't do shit. Whoever said hitting the bell does anything, you're 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 a liar. You're you're a dirty liar. Filthy liar. You ain't gonna be a liar like that. Can you ask for no liars? Oh boy, my blood's stained. Woo. Found it. Okay, dude. Had enough. Ow! Fucking keep forgetting he does that. Don't lock 
back onto him. There we go. No. That was wrong. <laughs> but it seemed close. Seemed like it was gonna work. We're just gonna keep hurling ourselves off of a ledge. I mean, that's that's the, the moral of the story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how it works. This has been already a half hour of me being a complete moron. You're welcome. <laughs> you are 100% welcome in every way. Enjoy the entertainment. Okay, I did send that back by, by celebrating. Woo! Celebrate tonight, come on! Celebrate! Good times, come on! Celebrate! Swear to God, if I find a lover after doing all this on the side that I could easily access, everything dies. It's just simple as that. Everything dies. I mean everything. The whole world is just gonna die. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> okay, I did it. I hope I don't get dunked on by some falling asshole. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Sweet. Told you guys. Fucking, fucking called it. Okay. There we go. Nailed it. Oh boy, I can get these from these guys. Man patches. You a fucking dick. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Nailed it. So there's the dude who falls on you for the giant fight. He's just, he's just there. Oh, there's the red soapstone. Noise. Noise. You know, you're all bad people for carrying these things. Just want you to know. Sexy. Hold on. We gotta get in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was worth it. Oh, baby. I love the way. Boom. And I'm reborn once more. Wee. Alright. So here's a covenant. If you would like to join Rosaria's fingers, then you can touch people with your grody ass fingers. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. Superb. Oh yeah, I gotta kill it. Get out of here! Thanks, Herschel. Or Hazel. You became beautiful in your final form. Beautiful. I mean, you, you're you just stunning. There's Kirk's. Yes. Oh! Achievement acquired. Just one.
And this is where I can uh, change, well, the appearance of Shid Dynasty, but she's beautiful. And your, um, if you want to suddenly go to a magic village, you can put all your stats into magic and intelligence and all that kind of shit. So I may have to do that later on. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, she kind of has a titty out. Kind of. Oh my, is that, is that a marvelous Chester I see in the distance? A Chester 2.5? Could it be? Could it possibly be Senpai? Segoy? Ah. So, you've chosen to serve Rosaria after all. She will be pleased with me for finding her another finger. <laughs> <laughs> but be warned, my friend. Rosaria's fingers need only fetch tongues for their mistress. Otherwise, we are free. Unchained. Like Yellowfinger, you can choose to believe that all fingers share camaraderie. But do not force your romance upon the rest of us. <laughs> Marvelous Chester, you beautiful bastard. Rosaria's fingers need only f otherwise you are free, but do not. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so we're now on this part. Let's go back to the shrine. We gotta go to the shrine to do things to trigger the next event. So triggered. So very triggered. It's very triggering. <sighs> like the fact that Marvelous Chester just creeps the fuck up on you if you feels like it. It's great. Have you betrayed me? Hmm. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Your path is wholly different to mine. Gentle unkindled, I bid you farewell. If we meet again, it will be as adversaries. Oh, well, I'm just gonna have to kill you. Yes, I see. An arrant demon of the kind. Very well. <sighs> Alright. Forgive me, Randa. I finished your quest. She brought it on to herself. I, I finished your quest. It, that's all that matters. I finished the damn quest. Alright. He's gone. They're gone. Alright. Now, okay, the wiki lied to me. Said that she would be faithful forever. Apparently not. <sighs> Fucking liars. Alright, well, I murdered her. It's great. Okay, why am I here? Let's get some things. <laughs> I killed your fucking granddaughter. How does that make you feel? Okay, purchase items. I, I, I finished her quest line. There was nothing else for me to do, as far as I'm aware. And I'm gonna stick by that. Y'all saw it. She came at me. She came at me. Bruh. Ashen. Nothing I could do. Nothing I could do. <laughs> finished her damn quest line. Why was she still hostile? She, that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyways. And she was weak as hell. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Because once she said, I will serve you forever, even if you went to Rosaria's, she was supposed to be, um, friendly to you. That's why I was doing it. I don't care. I finished her quest line. She can die. I can go ask the fucking statue for it for some, uh, forgiveness. I'm not above that. Okay. Well, it looks like Marvelous Chester had a good time. Black Eye Orb, yes. Okay, and before we go and do the next part, I want to see something real quick. Travel. Road of Sacrifice, yes. Because, now that I have Lothar Castle unlocked, I think this is automatic. It may be after the second to last technical boss, but the, the last Lord of Cinder boss, it may be um, attached to that. But if not, I think as soon as you open Lothric, this will happen. So we're going to go up real quick to meet our friend. Our friendly Fran. Our lovely giant Fran. How is our Fran doing? I hope he's doing well, that Fran. 
It would be a shame if anything happened to our friend. Okay, not an abyss of death. Good. She should not have been hostile towards me. I'm calling the horse shit. Wiki, Dark Souls Wiki, you fucking lied to me. Why do you gotta lie to me, bro? Oh, yeah. Simple puzzle to figure out in the beginning is still very simple to figure out. She, she, she had it coming. She had it coming. That's all I'm saying. She asked for it. <laughs> Fucking patches ruin everything for everybody. So once the sky is red, you come up here. He is dead. Okay, so as soon as Lothar Castle's open, he dies. So you don't actually have to fight him in order to get the hawk ring. But my friend, much sorrow is to be had. For you were my friend. And because you were my friend, I am going to try to resuscitate you through violence. Violence was not the answer. But yeah, that's how you get the hawk ring. We are, we're, we're just, we're gonna be opulent. <laughs> Where's my homework bones? There we go. Shrine. So that's how you get the the hawk ring or hornet's ring, whichever one that fucking was. Um. No, that that's hawk ring. And that's how you get it. So you don't actually have to kill him, but uh, he will die as soon as um, Lothric is open up. For some reason, he just he fucking dies. <laughs> I don't know why, but he does. <laughs> and it's very sad. <laughs> Where are you, Andrew Londro? Okay, Aldrich. We got to do this one thing. This one thing. The thing of power. Because this guy, uh, I'm just gonna say Chester 2.0 may not be the most sane son of a bitch around, but he's, he's a thing. Black Eye Orb, yes. So this is very, very reminiscent to the Latrec, uh, boss fight for the Firekeeper's soul in, um, Dark Souls 1. This is definitely a callback to that. Except with Marvelous Chester this time. Whoa, really, really mixing things up now. Whoa. Just whoa. Whoa. Okay. We're gonna do this. Is it, is it doing it? Invade! It's now it's time to kick the shit out of this magic asshole. <laughs> He is indeed a magic asshole. Well, well, never expected to see you here. Felt sorry for the poor thing in all her festering glory. And now you want to ravage her soul as well. I sow the seeds, I'll prune the mess. I really swear so. I'm just being very quiet, because this guy's a dick. He hits like a fucking tank.
Take your fucking magic and get out of here, nerd. I have the high ground, Anakin. Just be, I'm just being real quiet. Okay. There we go. We, we both ran out of S's. Hot damn. That was pretty good. Now, we're not going to give Rosaria her soul back, par se. She did make me just kill my new BFF. Crescent Moon Sword, Soul of Rosaria, Silver Mask. I am now officially uh, Senpai approved in all manners. Marvelous Chester, you will live on, you crazy fucking bastard. <laughs> we got Artie 2.0, we got Chester 2.0, we got Zivwad. It's all good. It's good. It's good. We got Henri. It's good. It's okay. I only got four souls. He didn't drop me any souls. He should have been chock full of souls. Dick. Dick. What a dick. Now, do we want to do... Well, technically, I think I am done recording for the day with episode 28. But I'm trying to figure out if we want to keep uh, going through Lothar Castle. If that's going to be the best thing to do. Or to go to the consumed King's Garden. So we basically got two paths to take. We got we got at least two. Ah. Uh -huh. Not yet. Not yet. Will you take his soul? Ah, speak freely then. Oh, good hollow. Orbeka Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mark of a true monarch. So basically she hates the, uh, the wizard dude. She hates wizard dude bro. For good reason. You'll, you'll see later on, but Wizard Dude Bro is our friend. She, she does not control the Firelink Shrine, I do. Alright, I feel like... <laughs> Maybe I should not have gone to the Rosarius Fingers, but hey, fuck it, Series Questline was over. It was done. It said so. Y'all saw it. You. You saw it. You heard it right here. I'm gonna do this right. You! You saw it. <laughs> Alright. As far as I'm concerned, series quest line is, is completed in my eyes for, for this recording. I can... Yeah, because uh, technically you're supposed to kill her anyways to get her armor and shit, but all she had was that, like, thing. 
It's fine. It's cool. I'm okay with it. But I think we may have some blood on our hands and we may have to wash them at some point. <laughs> Just saying. It's possible. Did he leave anything on his little stoop? I don't think he does, but let's go check. No, he did not leave a damn thing on his stoop. Fucking Chester. I killed everything that I loved today. Through a <laughs> means of pulleys and levers. But anyways, this is the end of Let's Play Dark Souls 3 with me, a girl named Bob. Episode 28. Got through a lot today. Pancakes and coffee and bacon and breakfast potatoes got me through the day. Now I'm gonna go shit out of the lung. It's gonna be great. So, until next time, stick around, stay tuned, and peace out.